Hello Airsoft friends and welcome to this video today where today we're going to be looking at the Norbridge SSE 18. Now this is actually a relatively new release because this is a V2 version of the pistol and the V2 version comes with a brand new MOSFET. We have also got a ton of accessories and extra bits here which we're going to have a play with too. But before that I want to say a big thank you to all my patrons for supporting the channel. You guys support me every single month and I really appreciate each and every one of you for doing that. So thank you very much. And of course a big thank you to you for watching this video and if you haven't subscribed yet click the big old subscribe button because you're going to love future content. Now back to this. The SSE-18 is very similar you could say to its big brother the SSP-18. The big difference between the two, one of them is gas powered whereas the other one is electric and this is the electric variant. Now I have dabbled in electric pistols before in the past and I must say that I have not been that impressed by them shall we say. I got given a handful of electric SEMA pistols and I must say that performance was very much lacking. They couldn't really hop anything and the build quality just felt quite shoddy and naff. So hopefully this is going to be much better. Now in terms of the accessories it's pretty much all magazines. So we have got the high cap mags here. We've got two of those and we've got two of the smaller mags along with one in there as well. So we've got three little mags in total and we've also got two of the inserts for magazine pouches so you can carry these small little mags in your regular pistol pouches. So we're going to have a look at all of these little accessory bits later on. First of all, let's just get straight into the pistol. The box itself is quite nice. It kind of follows the same design pattern as all the other Novrich Rifts. So yeah, nice quality, looks good. And there it is. And I must say, it does look very, very similar to the SSP-18. Now they have said in their marketing materials that they wanted it to be pretty much identical to it. So they've used the same models and whatnot. There are already some differences I can see like these little pin bits here those aren't on the SSP-18 and of course this cut out here in the slide that's filled in whereas on the SSP-18 that is actually a hole. Inside the box we have our little magazine loader here always handy to get those and I like the fact that it comes with one. It also comes with a battery and a charger which sit in this little area here. I took them out earlier because I wanted to put them on charge so it was fully charged ready for this video. So your batteries would be here and you have like a little USB charger so if you wanted to you could charge this out in the field with a little USB battery pack. And then finally, you have got the pistol itself here with magazine already inside it with no BBs as well because, you know, safety. That is weird. It's so weird not having like a full cut of magazine come sliding out of the bottom. But I guess it's something that we'll, we'll get used to. I do like the fact that these magazines are so small though because you'll be able to carry loads of them on you very, very easily. So high density amount of BBs you'll be able to carry on your person, which is cool. Let's move this box out to the side because we do not need anything that's in there now. And we can have a little look at the SSE-18. So comparing it to the SSP-18, they're identical in Size. It looks like they have used the same files for each one. However, like I said, there's these two extra pinny bits here, this pin bit here, which the SSP-18 does not have. And I assume the reason why it's got that is there's extra construction inside the grip here. Like the motor for this rift is actually inside the grip here. Whereas with the SSP-18, that is just a big old hole. So you don't need any extra pins to hold anything in place. Now this is a non-blowback pistol as well. So the slide on the top doesn't move. It doesn't go anywhere. Unlike the SSP-18, which goes back with every single shot. Shot. With the SSE-18, however, the slide does come off. We press the back here and that pushes forward just like so. And now we can install our battery. So we get our little battery here and I'm going to try and get this really cute and tiny Dean's connector out. Look at that. Look how tiny and cute that is. Oh my days. Genuinely, that is so cute. I've never seen one of those Dean connectors that small before in my life. Now I'm going to get this in and it can be a little bit fiddly, but it is something that you want to pay special and extra care and attention to when putting the battery in. When you put the slide back on, you don't want to pinch any wires and it's very important that you don't do that. So I'm going to take the slide now, make sure that nothing is pinched, everything is good and I think that is all set. There we go, that's it, all good and back together. Now the trigger though is not moving and if I do that you can see the trigger isn't going and the reason being there's actually a kind of hidden safety on the SSE-18s. If I fling it round to this side here, this little catch is a safety. Now on the SSP-18 you do have these little catches but they allow you to remove the side for maintenance. Also to adjust the hop. You can also adjust the hop on the SSE-18 and that's inside the slide itself. So I'll just take that off again quick that is your hot pool there. Oh, that went on so easy that time. So if you do want to shoot this, all you need to do is get that little clip, move it up like so, and now the safety is off. And you can shoot it just like that. 
Now this is based on the G18 or the Glock 18 and that means it has full auto as well as semi-auto. So you can do stuff like that. <laughs> And that's something which I'm actually really excited about. Like, I love the fact that I can go full auto with this thing as well. However, this is really loud and this isn't anywhere near as loud. You'll experience cool down, which is pretty much like the gases going through, cooling down all the parts of the pistol itself, which then makes it go really slow. And on my TM Glock, it actually gets to the point where it stops firing at all because it just gets so bloody cold. With the electric pistols though, you do not have that at all. You can just as long as you're holding down the trigger. And with these bad boy magazines, which hold 100 BBs, you're pretty much gonna be pretty darn happy. We're about to get into chronoing the SSC 18, but before that, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, hit the big old subscribe button, because if you've made it this far, you're gonna love future videos. Also, why not drop a like as well, and let me know what you think of this video in the comments. Now, one thing which I didn't realize about the SSC 18, mainly because I didn't read the product page properly all the way through, was that this is a 0.5 dual gun. Now, in the UK, dual limits for this type of riff are 1.14 joules. So you may look at that and think that's quite underpowered and you'd probably be right. <laughs> but in order to get this pistol to work, there's a lot of technology and a lot of equipment that needs to go into there. So the cylinder and the piston doesn't have a huge amount of space in order to shoot your BBs out of it. Now because of that, you're pretty much going to want to only use 0.2 gram BBs in this pistol. And I've actually started to try and use the lightest weight BBs possible because I'm a fan of fast travel times. Heavy BBs are great because they can punch through leaves and have more of an impact, but they also travel through the air quite a bit slower than lighter weight BBs. And the more that I play, the more I'm like, I would rather have the BBs get there faster than kind of just have them firing slower and whatnot. And generally speaking, I kind of feel like if I'm just spraying a load of BBs into a bush, they're probably going to get through, or some of them are at least going to get through, whether I'm using super lightweight BB or not. But let's just get some BBs now and see how close we are to the 0.5 joules as advertised on the website. So for this test, I'm actually going to be using one of the high cap 100 round magazines because I'm also going to be doing an RPS test afterwards as well. So we have got our extended magazine here filled up with BBs and they go in the pistol the exact same way your standard magazine does, which holds this many BBs. But instead of the magazine being flush like the little mags are, it actually sticks out like that and kind of looks like a standard extended mag that you would have on a gas type pistol. So this is the 50 round extended mag on the SSP-18 and then here you have the extended mag on the SSE-18. So aesthetically they do look very similar. Also I opted to get this one in grey as opposed to the green even though I absolutely love the green. But I wanted to easily tell which riff was riff from a distance away so having this one in grey I know this is my AEP and having this one in green I know this is my GBB. So we are in there now I'm going to put it onto semi-auto and we're going to do a few shots just to see what our FPS is. So we are at 0.44 joules, uh, 218 FPS, and that is actually pretty accurate beyond it all. 218 FPS, 212, 212. They don't say it's on the nose of 0.5, they say it is like kind of up to or below 0.5. So I'm happy with that, I can take that. Now let's put it onto the fun mode and see what our RPS is. Our RPS on the SSE 18 is 15.3. Now that isn't bad at all. I mean, that's actually faster than quite a few of my other, <laughs> quite a few of my other riffs that I have here. So if you wanted to do like a quick side spray down and get people out, then that is gonna be absolutely perfect for you. And again, these magazines hold quite a bloody lot of BB, so you can carry a lot in not that much of space. Overall, the SSP 18 is heavier, whether you've got a magazine in it or not. So if you are looking for a lightweight performance pistol, then the SSE 18 is probably going to be a good shout for you. Now, the last thing we haven't looked at yet are these inserts, which we've got as well. And these allow you to carry two of the little SSE 18 magazines in a single standard pistol pouch. Now, they do come with a feature specific for the Novridge magazine pouches. And that is there's a screw at the bottom of the pouch here. And there is a thread on the bottom of the insert here. So if you are going to be running these in a permanent kind of fashion, you can screw these into these pouches to make sure that your insert doesn't go anywhere, doesn't slide anywhere, it just stays in place. It also comes with a little screw here as well, so if you don't have the screw for your pouch,
notch, then you've, you've got the little screw there. I expect you'd also be able to cut a hole in a different pistol pouch, say that you've got one, and put your screw in there because the thread is in the insert itself. So even if you're not using the Novridge ones, you would still be able to use the inserts. So we'll take our insert and we'll slide it into the pouch just like so. It is going to be sticking out a little bit because there is a spacer block in the bottom of this pouch and my tools aren't to hand, so I can't just take that off. Well, let's get a couple of our small magazines and see what they look like in place. We've got a pouch there, one magazine in just like so and our second magazine in just like that as well. And you know what? That is actually pretty tidy. I like as well the fact that there's quite a positive grab on those, but if I want to remove it, easy, easy. And I like the fact that it's quite positive as well. Like you just need to try and get it in that little gap there and your magazine is in. You're not gonna have to worry about the sides kind of like pinching it and then stopping it and pushing it back out. So yeah, that is very handy. You can also use these inserts for the large magazines here, just like so, by putting it in just like that. If you wanted to have a little magazine in there as well, you can have the little one and the big one. Or I guess if you wanted to, you could mount it that way and put an extra big one in the other side and have it angled the other way. So the choice is yours. I think for my first adventures out, I think I'll probably go with the one pouch like this with the smaller magazines and have one smaller magazine in the pistol. And then if I do go to a site which is more CQB specific, like inside a building or something like that, I may go with the high cap mag just so I don't have to worry about reloading or anything like that. Because being able to just like focus on the gameplay and not how many BBs you've got is a big advantage sometimes. Anyway, that's the SSC 18. That's me done with this video. Thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.